Agriculture, with exception of few countries, is characterized by the lowest productivity in the world. This, the minister, while declaring open a three-day workshop on animal biotechnology application and regulatory perspective in Abuja, said has adversely affected African economies with severe implications on the people's livelihood. On said the workshop is targeted at changing the narrative and initiative, the process of deployment of science and technology in modern agricultural practice in Africa. When we apply science, technology and innovation to agriculture, many of the problems and challenges that we presently confront will be solved as it is the case in some other parts of the world. The component of science and technology in modern agricultural practice is more than 90%. And many people may not understand this, but it's actually more than 90%. If we consider the whole agricultural chain, we have many mouths to feed. We also need to feed our factories with the products from animal agriculture. Expedite the journey to revolutionize our productive capacity in agriculture using science, critical institutions like National Biotechnology Development Agency and National Biosafety Management Agency were therefore put in place along with appropriate legislative backing. Let me therefore assure you that ideas expected in the communicate after this workshop will be considered in the formulation of course of action that will lead to increase in production of meat and milk to meet the proto requirement of our people. Earlier in his remarks, Director General of NAPDA, Abdullahi Mustafa, highlighted possible gains of the workshop. In addition to plenary issues addressing the broad policy and institutional issues, the workshop has sessions focused on specific technical areas, namely opportunities biotechnology offers in the development of livestock vaccine and diagnostic, improved animal nutrition and health, improved understanding of livestock biodiversity, challenges in, uh, in animal health, global and national perspective regulatory and uh, regulatory perspectives. We are also to develop a draft communication framework for outreach and advocacy, which is very, very critical in any scientific endeavor. If you don't carry out the advocacy, if you don't let people know what you're doing and how you're doing, and then address concerns and misconceptions, especially those misconceptions surrounding the use of modern biotechnology for animal biotechnology products. The theme of the virtual workshop with participants drawn from across the globe is Animal Biotechnology, the Next Frontier. See and News.